Do not enter, reads the note on the entrance of the Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony in Daegu, South Korea. The streets of the nation's fourth largest city have been all but abandoned after what authorities describe as a super-spreading event of the coronavirus at the church. The city's mayor told residents to stay indoors after 90 people who worshipped at the church showed symptoms of infection and dozens of new cases were confirmed. The church had been attended by a 61-year-old woman who tested positive, known as Patient 31. 23 cases of South Korea's newly diagnosed 31 cases on Thursday were linked to the church, which has since shut the Daegu branch and called for other branches to hold their services online or at home. Korea's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the coronavirus epidemic is an unprecedented crisis. South Korea now has 104 confirmed cases and has reported its first death. International authorities are trying to prevent the outbreak from spreading into a global pandemic. Japan on Thursday reported that two elderly people from a cruise ship moored near Tokyo had died of the virus. Chinese officials have been pointing to evidence that new cases were declining as proof they are succeeding in keeping the virus largely contained. But changes in methodology for reporting infections has created new doubt about data. On Thursday, the World Health Organization chief said he was encouraged by the downward trend in coronavirus diagnoses. Morning, 170 Australians evacuated from the Diamond Princess cruise ship are waking up in Darwin after spending their first night in quarantine on home soil. But for six of those Australians, uncertainty with concerns surrounding their health. This comes as two passengers who were on board the coronavirus plague ship have now died. What should have been a luxury cruise, now two passengers who are on the Diamond Princess have died from the coronavirus. The victims, a woman and a man in their 80s, both Japanese. 600 people remain locked down on the ship, among those 10 Australians, turned away from the latest evacuation mission. Of those 170 now in quarantine in Darwin, six have come down with flu-like symptoms, raising fears the virus may have been brought home. If somebody does test positive for COVID-19, we are fully prepared to manage that situation out at Howard Springs or in the Royal Darwin Hospital. Those evacuees placed in isolation. They will be moving around, but it is structured and it's structured for a reason. For the others rescued and who will spend two weeks being closely monitored, their appreciation to Australia's response. Thank you for taking care of us. We very appreciate it. Thank you, Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Australia. Thank you. Reports this morning, police in Queensland are going door to door to check on people who've been ordered to self-quarantine over the deadly coronavirus. This comes as four more Australians have been diagnosed on board that cruise ship off Japan. It's a dilemma no parent wants to be in, unable to get their baby girl trapped in the coronavirus danger zone in China. I can't even get to nice sleep for the last three weeks. The Canberra parents sent 18-month-old Chloe to their home country to be with relatives to escape Australia's smoky bushfires. So I just feel so guilty. This Melbourne woman is going through her own struggle, not able to have the 21st birthday she'd hoped for. I just want to come home. That's it. I just want to go home. Now trapped in a Japanese hospital with her parents and younger brother after she was struck down with coronavirus on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. Terrifying. Terrifying. Bianca is one of four more Australians with the virus, bringing the total of infected passengers to 175. The thousands of holidaymakers still confined to their cabins are hoping their final six days in quarantine will not be extended. It's getting harder. You know, we're now into the second week. It seems an eternity. <laughs> 